Hey guys, I am Dr. Tort and welcome to Let's Play Lands of Lore. This is the third episode of this series and I hope you enjoy it. Just for starters, I'll upload the intro separately. Lands of Lore is similar to Dungeon Master 2 in that it's a first person role playing game where you take control of up to three characters. However, Lands of Lore is much more story driven and will hopefully make a more enjoyable Let's Play. During most cutscenes, I'll be silent as a mouse so you can enjoy them, as the acting is actually quite good for a game of its age. Alright, so let's get started then, shall we? Let's click start a new game. I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? So you start out by choosing your character. I'm going to go for average Joe down in the corner here, Conrad. I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Face it, with all the dangers in the land, you need someone with my adaptability. I was originally going to play Michael the strong guy, but he sounds too much of a redneck for my taste, so... Excellent! Settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions. Yeah. And uh, actually, it's simply too difficult to play us. At least in the start. When you get some more spells... Welcome to Gladstone Keep. King Richard awaits you in the throne room. He's a force to be reckoned with. Right, so as you can tell, the game is much smoother than Dungeon Master 2 ever was. Move around much smoothly. And let's fulfill our king's wishes by going to the His throne royal room. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Conrad. Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please, retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the key. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. Well, since we're going to his private library, let's hope we don't find his private porn. Let's go inside, the gate opens magical when you put in the key. The magic atlas. Mm-hmm. This is the map of the game. Click it and voila. You see everything around you. Alright, so let's get that damn rip. Oh, it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would-be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. Look, even the beasts seek shelter. Uh, it doesn't seem too friendly. You need help. Mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Maybe he's in Scotia's side. Well, we'll find out. Head out. Right, so for those wondering, the story revolves around this evil witch, Scotia, who's find this ring or mask thing that allows her to shape shift. Alright, so we're out in the fine forest of squareness. As you can tell, everything here is at a perfect 90 degree angle, but you can't expect too much. So let's kill this poor thing. Ah, come back. Hoping you don't miss and that the enemy misses. That's basically the concept of combat. Hey you! Thing. I'm taking your money! Why the hell? Why the hell would I give you my money? You won't get Spoon my you. money without a fight. Ouch. Let's cast a spell on his face. Keep on not trying to mummy. There you go so hard, was it? If you look closely here, you might be able to see it on YouTube. I doubt it though, because YouTube sucks. But you can see there's another thug there. Let's rest up before we go in there. <laughs> why are thugs guarding, guarding this that cave? Yes, why are they guarding that cave? Hey! 
Get out of here! Let's get rid of him. I want to see what's in that cave. I bet it's something useful. To those that find the combat too unfair in this game, you can turn down the difficulty setting. I will do so at one place in the game, the White Tower. There are silver coins in here. Wonderful money. It's quite beaten with the rest of it. A lantern. Right. Yes, a lantern. Those are wonderfully useful in every game you run into them. Now I already know how to solve this puzzle. But for those that don't know, you just put two things on this and nothing on this one. And all is well. Take the thug's key out of there. By the way, if you can see the button here, or in the game in general, you can look at the map and you will see that there are lines where the buttons and switches are. Alright, so let's take a peek back here. There are silver coins in here. Yes, there are silver coins in here. Well, that's not any fun. We can't take the stuff from that one, because then we'll lock ourselves out. Well, let's look on the map. What's this? Leather. Spartan, even. Oh, there's another one. <gasps> That's how you get it. Not the safest system in the world. Ten crowns. The smartest. Hmm. Because now the gates are the door. The wall is gone. It's gone. Never gonna come back. Ever. So they better really want to hide that stuff that's in there. And then you stuff it with crap in the future. Pick up all these worms, they are very useful, especially early in the game. Gives you a self-defense mechanism you might want. Hmm, what would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this? Excuse me, lad. Are you with King Richard? I need to get into the keep and I have forgotten the password. May I go in with you? I'm sorry, miss, but these are dangerous times. Timid fool, I will not forget <laughs> you. Well, she was easily annoyed. Uh, okay then. Let's see what's back here. The marina. Good stuff. Excuse me. I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Well, where is it? You know what? I think I take back what I said about these and voice acting. Some area. Well at then, least. hurry and get on the boat. She doesn't seem to friendly either. Maybe she's also in Scotia. We should go back and kill her to find out. Hmm. That might not be too appreciated. This Great. looks cozy. Okay. What can we find in here? Are you well, by chance Timothy, Timothy of Gladstone? Yes, I am Timothy. And who might you be? I am Conrad. King Richard has sent me to retrieve the Ruby of Truth from Sir Roland. One of the Dark Army spies has a mask or something. She's become a shape changer and apparently threatens the kingdom. Scotia, she is the most evil woman alive. I heard that she had hired the excavators, but I never dreamed she'd actually find the mask. Well then, Conrad, let's go now. I'll get my things together and meet you outside. Alright, so let's head inside here. Excuse me, I'm looking for the exit. I'm on an errand for King Richard. Well, you're a brave young patriot, Sonny. Take this magnet stone to guide you on your journeys. Long live King Richard. Well, apparently being on an errand for King Richard makes you a brave young patriot. I am patriot. pleased to join you, sir. All I have is at your disposal. Well, before this video is over, I'm gonna get you to Roland's estate. Did you take out right here, I think? No. It's a shop. We will go there later. Ow. A mace. Those are better than the dagger. The dagger is a terrible weapon. Don't use it unless you have to. Let's see if we can kill this thing. Without dying ourselves. Here. That one's out. I don't Take have enough magic. In face, you. Okay. Let's try that. There you go. Wasn't so hard, was it? Ooh, nice. Am I really playing on normal difficulty? It seems a bit easy. Let's head to the left here. Or 
orcs everywhere. What is that, people? Why on earth would there be orcs over, well, the entire area? It's not like we're an orc kingdom. What happened? Someone has attacked. I think that explains that. Alright, so let's head inside and kill this orc and end this video. Alright. Well, guys, thanks for watching the first episode of Let's Play Lands Floor, The Throne of Chaos. I am Dr. Trot, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.